I've got to show you this one. This is Nancy today. I'm in my willow again, my fence. Look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? Look at how tall it is. This is my willow. Isn't that big? See how big the stem was when I planted it? I just used a really big piece of willow, big as a finger almost. And look at how much it's grown, way up here. The other ones are not nearly so good. I've lost a lot of them. There's one over here. I'm so glad I tagged them with the orange. There must be some in here. But you don't see them right now. Just wanted to take a good look at these. This one has grown a lot too. We're short to begin with though. So. Could be one every foot, so be another one right here. You don't see it. Obviously I didn't see it then either or I would have put a tag on it. I need to clean up these bushes and trees along here. So none of these are are growing here, just that one. There's nothing in here. Anyway, it gives me something else to plant later. That one's growing well, isn't it? Look at that whole thing. I like things that you don't have to take care of. You really don't have to weed this and water it. And But they don't like weeds. They like to be free of all that. That's a pretty good one. See, I seem to have gone around some of these bushes. I'm trying to pull this fence out. I started pulling the fence out, but it didn't finish. But it allows me now to go across it so I can get out of that clumpy junk. And I can get back into it now, too. Couldn't before. It was very difficult. Okay. Look at that one. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. It's really grown well. Now, see, in the, in the fall, or in the spring, I guess in the fall, I'll cut off those three sprouts there. And then I will, next year, each sprout will have more coming from it. But you have to cut them, or else they'll all fork. They'll all fork all the way along up, like they'll develop branches from here. It won't be good for willow. But eventually, once you've got lots of them growing, from one place, from one plant. Lots of shoots, if you cut it every year, the shoots will multiply. Oh, I've got a lot of work to do to put more willows through here. Should have, I, I did search for them very well one day. There's some, that one died down there. This one down here is also looks pretty dead. But at least I found them and tagged them. So I know they need to be replaced. This one's looking okay. See, it seems like the ones with the big stems work the best. That one died. And that one died. This one looks like it's finally got leaves on it, but it didn't do very well all the way down the stem. That one died. This one's doing well. 
important to do a lot of something. If you do only one and it dies, then it's like, oh man. But if you do a lot of them, if you do a lot of them, then if they die, it's not such a big deal. You can just replant it. See, these were very small ones because I I took a few took a few willows and then I cut them in pieces and so the tops had to be planted too. These tops have died, all these. This one's okay. That one died. Well it's good to know. It's good to know if they live or die. That one died. This one's doing well. Look at how tall he is. But look again, that's a big one. It's the size of a finger. Which is the best size to plant out, I guess. That one died. Nope, didn't. This is a very thin one, which lived. This also lived. This is also a small one. Oh no, it's a big at the bottom. I'm quite pleased to find that I'm actually doing this, that it's actually working. It didn't take any time to come along and put these in here. I just stuck them straight in. I didn't have to... Oh, that's the end of it. There's the last one over there. You can barely see it. So it didn't take a lot of work to plant these. It's not like I had to dig holes and everything. I could have dug holes, which would probably be better for them. But then I wouldn't have done it because it's too big. So sometimes doing something is better than doing it in a big way. It, doing it properly, you know, if I had dug a, if I had dug those every time. Look at these, aren't they pretty? I love these. So even even if you do something in an inferior way, you'll probably end up with the same result. Not exactly. You might not end up as this as good plants. But once they are established, you will get them, and you can always just stick in more in that simple way, too. Okay, that's my wheel of fence. Bye.